can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's going on guys? Welcome back we'll go back to another video. In today's video, it's gonna be a, a heartbreaking one because this is the first car I've ever perfect the suspension, first car I've ever perfect wheel fitment. I've literally made this car Oh man, it's, it's so perfect that I have to take it apart right now and it just hurts, but it is what it is. It's just time for a new project and um, I have to show you guys something before we do. This is the car fully aired up, wheels straight up. Look at the fitment of these wheels on the 435. Literally amazing fitment. Obviously, if I lower the car a little bit more, it'd be more perfect fitment, but just check that out, guys. These were custom made to fit the 435 absolutely perfectly. I mean, as you can even tell with the built-in spacers from Variant Wheels, this is absolutely insane and gorgeous. This is something I miss so much. I don't know when's gonna be my next car that I'm gonna have on bags, but check this out, guys. Come on. Oh my God. Just look at that. That is like the coolest thing ever. Just that sound and everything. Like, look at that fitment, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even roll my fenders. This is just literally perfect fitment. So um, yeah, we are gonna have to air up though, just for the sake of the video. We're gonna have to remove the suspension. So this is gonna make life a whole lot easier. But man, oh man. So I think the way to do this, guys, is by jacking up the car, putting it on two jack stands and two more jack stands in the rear, having it on all four jack stands, and then pretty much removing the air suspension. So um, I think I have to air out, so that's my issue. I need to put the car in jacks, air out. Once it's aired out, then I'll be able to actually um, remove all the air suspension. So let's go ahead and just loosen up all the wheels real quick so we can just pretty much gut them off as soon as we get to uh, pretty much putting it on jack stands because it doesn't need to be high. It just needs to be off the ground when I air out. So that being said, um, let's go ahead and get to it. I don't know how hard this is going to be. I never installed my air suspension, so uninstalling it's going to be a huge pain. But since I know the guy that installed it for me, if I have any issues, I'll hit him up. So let's get to it, boys. Guys, removing all this stuff is teaching me how to put together this stuff. All this stuff right here, I can actually reuse for another air kit down the road because all this is universal for any airbag kit. Just the struts that's actually connected to the wheels and everything, is uh, it's, it's not interchangeable, but this all stuff is. So I'm actually thinking I might keep all this stuff for our next airbag setup because why go drop all the money all over again when we have all this handy, which is perfect. So this is pretty awesome, not gonna lie. And it's very exciting to learn how to take this stuff apart and put it all together. Now I know that this thing actually connects to all the wheels and this is what controls the air level for all the wheels which is super cool I still don't know what this thing is I think it's some kind of purge valve um, obviously that's the huge tank um, I think this is the biggest tank they offer but yeah I'm super excited we got all this stuff off this thing's a little bit wet because of the tank it is uh, water condensation is coming out of the tank so this thing is a little bit wet it will dry off this thing I'm gonna need my brother to help me take out because it bolts up from the bottom of the car as well so yeah my brother's gonna have to help me remove this the four bolts on the bottom and this one wire right here that goes through the thing is actually for the controller so I think I'm actually gonna go for that first since I'm not dirty and I have white interior I don't want to dirty up my interior um, so let's go ahead and remove that wiring and then everything from the inside is done and we just have to remove the struts and that's pretty much it it's actually not that bad to install or uninstall um, surprisingly so uh, let's go ahead and remove those rear seats remove the center console get all that wiring out and then we should be good to go in terms of the interior and then we just have to deal with the exterior the struts replace the struts with the OEM struts remove the wheels put the OEM wheels back and then we got some wheels and then we also got some air suspension for our next build or they will be up for sale as well so if you guys cop and pick up something new but if they don't sell these are so beautiful I'm definitely keeping up for my next build All right, guys, we finally got the wire out of there for the controller and we routed it through here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yep, right there. So I think the last thing we're gonna have to do now is grab this wire and just keep fishing it out. This is for the controller. Bada bang, bada bang. And now we have the entire harness with us back here. Nothing else is connected to the car other than the compressor. So once you get the compressor out, this whole harness should come out with it. So we're pretty much ready to just start working on the air suspension. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the interior together and then we'll go ahead and start working on the air suspension. I mean, so far so good guys. It's actually not as bad as I thought.
All right, guys, so we got the first struts out, the first air suspension, but I'm gonna go ahead and take off this as well. So uh, we're gonna, let me go ahead and get a wrench for this thing, but we did get the tie rod out. This is all a set, which is perfect. So uh, yeah, so far so good. I'm really happy with this. Let's go ahead and just get this thing out real quick. So uh, I haven't even finished putting this strut back in, but it took me the, the, for, like literally the longest to just get it inside the fender. So basically how I figured it out, um, I called my boy Arlon because he does this stuff all the time. And basically you guys do have to disconnect the sway bar end link, which is that little thing next to the, the, the pretty much the airbag. That sway bar end link, you have to disconnect it, take it out completely. That's the first thing you need to do. Second thing, which I didn't know, you need to loosen that one. This one doesn't matter. That one back there, if you loosen it, it actually drops it even more. And if you drop it even more, it actually can slide in. I did nick my, uh, my wrap just a little bit, but I mean, that's fine, that's okay with me. Now that it's in here, I do need one of these to actually go in underneath it and push it up. So I might be able to pull it up myself, but I need my brother to put in the bolts while I pull up on it. So I'm gonna call this side pretty much good for now. Let's go ahead and work on the other side so my brother's done eating and he'll come out and help us just reassemble both sides and then we can put the two front wheels and then we can start working on the back. All right guys, just a small little update. It is getting super late and I'm barely finishing up with the front end here. Um, I still gotta tighten up some things there and add the sway bar end link, but that, jack is literally giving out like the the fluids are coming out of it and it doesn't jack up anymore which is scary so i put the wheel on that one and i'll deal with that in a little bit um as for these wheels as you can see we got three wheels off uh, i just finished putting the stock suspension on this side i finished putting the stock suspension on this side it still needs a sway bar and link and to tighten up the lower control arms but for now let's go ahead and just put the wheel back We'll deal with the front end in a little bit. I've seen people, they normally take about a day or two to work on this. I'm literally gonna try to spend the entire day and knock this out, so wish me luck, guys. It is super laid out right now, but we're not stopping, because we gotta grind. We gotta get a new build on the channel. This car has gotta get dismantled, at least the things that are worth for you guys. So, I'm selling pretty much everything half off. Like I said, the airlift suspension advertises for about four grand. I'm selling them for only two grand. Um, as for the wheels, I'm doing about 30% off those. Uh, but yeah, the front end is completely done. Back to stock wheels, back to stock suspension. I mean, they're, they're 435 M Sport wheels, which are nice. I think these are 440i M Sports. Now we just got the rears and then that's pretty much it. So uh, let's go ahead and get those done. I'm actually super, super, super happy. Check this out. So I love it and it's super satisfying when you actually get some more parts of the airlift suspension and you're putting it in the kit. So yeah, here is the rear strut, the rear bag. All this stuff's actually in really good shape, which I'm really happy about. I'm actually gonna clean all these off. Um, but yeah, everything's in really good shape. Again, I've probably only had this on for the car like for like five or 6,000 miles. So this stuff is not that bad. Like everything is still in really good shape. So the last couple things we need is the other side bag and strut. And then just obviously the compressor. Uh, we'll get the compressor out and all the wiring. It's all right here, just four bolts, get it out. We'll get that out in the end. As for now, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other side because that is the absolute last thing. Throw the wheel on there and then we're probably gonna head out to in and out Probably not the healthiest thing, but probably not the worst thing either. So we're hungry, aren't we? A little bit. And just like that, guys, the car is officially off of air suspension. Oh wait, it's missing something. There we go. So we got the remote right here. We got the box, the cable, all the wiring harness, the, the compressor, um, the actual airlift module thing in McBobber, the tank. I'll cut to tomorrow to actually show you guys the car. But um, as it sits, it's actually still a really good looking car because we're not putting garbage parts on it. We put the original hood on it. We're gonna rewrap it. We're gonna make it really mint. We're keeping the carbon fiber grills. We're keeping the carbon fiber lip because I'm not gonna degrade this car but we are just removing all those mods that we're not gonna make our money's worth and I'd rather just sell it to you guys. Like all those carbon fiber stuff on the sides, people don't really care about that stuff and you guys do. So might as well take it off the car, sell for the fraction of the price to you guys. I kept the spoiler, I kept the diffuser, I'm keeping those on. The exhaust is actually in the backyard, I'm gonna put it in the trunk. We're gonna head down to the exhaust shop, get that mounted. The last thing we gotta remove off of this car will be the seats. I'm keeping the steering wheel in there because it really matches the car and I think that's a huge selling point as well. Aza always kills their wheels and it, it literally just deserves to be in this car. It's not gonna be something I'm gonna be taking out of this car but the interior is gonna be the last thing you need to get out of this car so if any of you guys need to cop this interior make sure to hit me up absolute last thing we're pulling out before the car is back up for sale 
and I'm gonna put the new price uh, as 16 firm. So $16,000 guys for a 435 that's gonna pass smog because it's completely stock other than a blow off valve and the blow off valve sounds amazing. We're gonna go ahead and smog it for you guys. It's gonna have carbon grills, carbon front lift, carbon spoiler, carbon diffuser, carbon shark fin, carbon side mirrors. Still gonna have all those crazy mods. It has a sequential turn signals, M performance, pretty much M4 style fenders. This is the M Sport model. So you have the big brake kit, brick caliper, M Sport wheels from a 440i, from a newer BMW, 80% life Pirelli tires, and you're still gonna have this sick setup with this Aza wheel. So yeah, guys, I mean, this car is still really badass as it sits, but now it's way more affordable to you guys, and at the same time, you guys are getting some crazy good mods for some for some crazy good deals. These wheels, if they don't sell, I'm not selling them. I'm gonna be trying to put up these wheels for 2400. They have brand new tires. These are variance wheels, custom to fit a 435 absolutely perfectly. No spacers needed. The Offsets are literally made for this car, and at the same time, they also fit the M3 and M4s perfectly, almost perfectly. Might need a little bit of a spacer on those, but these rims are amazing, guys. I don't know if you guys can see the finish, but this is like, I forgot the name of the finish, but absolutely stunning. These don't have much miles on them. I think they have less than like 2,000 miles on this set of rims. So again, if these don't sell, I'm gonna have to keep them for the next build. But anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. I'm gonna go back, just wash up, probably head out to In-N-Out with my brother. He deserves an In-N-Out. Then I gotta call my girl. So <laughs> after all that, I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll show you guys the car in person. Probably gonna get a good wash on it as well because the rims are super filthy. And uh, we'll show you guys a proper car, hopefully tomorrow morning. So same video, see you guys tomorrow morning. And what's up guys? So this is the next day and we're here with the, the 435. The wrap just came in, so you're gonna be wrapping this thing hopefully in the next day or two. Uh, the interior is gonna be going probably in the next video because the, the owner, the new owner is coming tomorrow to hopefully pick up the whole interior. I'll be putting the black sport interior in here. He's taking the M4 interior, put in his car. His car actually looks super badass, so it's just gonna be an ultimately a great looking car. And at the same time, I have somebody else that's coming for these carbon fiber grills. I actually didn't wanna sell these, but somebody wanted to pick up one of you guys, and I'm selling it for literally a fourth of how much they retail. So it's literally just one of you guys, and I wanna give you guys a good deal before the car is gone. But that's probably the last piece of carbon to sell the car. I want the car to have some carbon on it before I sell it because it does increase the value ever so slightly. And it just brings more appeal, especially if the new owner is one of you guys. So I don't want to get rid of all the carbon. But yeah, this is how the car is sitting as of now. So yeah, I haven't cleaned it up yet. It is really high up. It still looks gorgeous, but these rims, I'll probably end up painting them black or the next owner will probably paint them black. They look super, super, super good still. When I was putting this car back to stock, I wanted M wheels. I wanted Sport interior because it's an M Sport model. Model. I didn't want to put anything on this car that didn't actually come from the factory because this is an M Sport model So I want to treat it like an M Sport model, but anywho guys I still have the bags for sale I still have the wheels for sale the interior is probably gonna be sold tomorrow Actually, the bags might even sell tomorrow as well So I still have the wheels $2,400 guys those wheels retail three plus the tires with another 500 So if you guys want it make sure to hit me up on my Instagram 2400 you save you guys like $1,100 on these good set of wheels And if not, I'll just keep it for the next M build because it's gonna need it regardless We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of rebuilds soon So make sure you smash the like button if you guys are looking forward to that without further ado i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out yeah yeah let's go i ain't the first with the curse with the thirst that i wanna be better not worse man it hurts i'm on this earth with my words and i put them all together insert because i wanna have worth